Welcome to This Week in Nerf, your source for first party, third party, and community nerf news. I'm Adriana, and this week we actually have all three of those categories, so let's get to it. This week Gizmodo posted an article featuring the Dart Zone Pro, and it just makes me so happy to see a hobby product in mainstream media. And even better, the author of the article genuinely seemed to understand what the blaster was and who it's intended for. Like, he understood, he said in the article that an eight-year-old would have a problem priming it. And that's because it's not for eight-year-olds. It's for us, the, the community members who go out to wars, mod higher speed blasters, and have fun playing together. And I'm just so excited to see something in mainstream media that gets it, you know? And although he didn't have a chrono to do any of his own personal numbers, I did think it was funny uh, that he compared the, the performance of the DZP to, I think it's an Atlas, uh, using cans. <laughs> he shot at some cans from a specific distance away and was like, this is the, the damage done from a stock blaster, and this is the damage done from a Dart Zone Pro. I just thought that was a really clever way to convey uh, the performance it gets without having access to the equipment to definitively measure the performance. It was, it was a good attempt, and I appreciate that this article exists. Little Putter posted this photo of a knockout that he found at Walmart, so it looks like they are already on shelves. I'm not sure where Little Putter is from specifically, but I believe there was one other person posting about finding it in Walmart also. Not sure if it's every Walmart, but turns out the blasters are out already, and if you can't find them in store, they will be available October 1st. And speaking of new releases, Adrian Syrupson, which is obviously not a real name, but is funny, uh, got his hands on a Percy's, like we talked about last week, uh, and he has modeled a battery door, which is what I think everyone knew would be the very first mod done, is getting rid of the uh, nerf rechargeable battery and putting our lipos in it and what's great about this is he's done it within seven hours of owning the blaster so i appreciate your commitment to this community Ad adrian <laughs> if that is your real name thank you for posting that on thingiverse and the links for that are in the description speaking of printed parts jan ravlet made a body kit for the rival hypnos and it looks like a laser gun from warhammer 40k and it's it's pretty cool. The kit is just the mag slash maybe it's a battery pack, not totally sure, and the barrel for it. And I think it really does make the Hypnos look way cooler. And if you look at the stock artwork for the, the laser gun, it makes the laser gun look way cooler too. Add a little of his Imperial Greeblies, and that's, that's a sweet looking blaster. And thank you for sharing the files with us. So. We can all improve our hypnosis, hypnosi, hip, hypnosis. I hypnotized everyone. This week's mod of the week is from Laser Gadgets. He did a Malawan Ravonix. I have been playing Borderlands 3 for the past couple days and I got it on the brain. And so of course this has to be mod of the week and it looks so, so cool. Uh, I like that it's not just a Standard Ravonix. It's not exactly an integration, but it's not a standard Ravonix. He changed the grip, he elongated the stock, and it looked like it took quite a bit of work to do it. Uh, instead of just posting photos of this one, he posted a video showing a little bit of the process of how it was done, and that was really, really interesting to watch. And uh, I noticed it, though it's a Borderlands gun, it does not have any of these cell shading lines, which is an interesting choice, and I think it might actually be better for it. This thing looks sweet. Thank you so much for sharing. This week's video of the week is from NYC Nerf Ops and it is their footage from APOC 2019. And it looks like though they're one of the longest running Nerf Wars, they're still getting a pretty good turnout. It looks like they had a ton of fun running around in the woods. I know that kind of gameplay is great. And they apparently also had a little bit of faction warfare going on there too. New York versus New Jersey versus the South versus Maryland. Sounds like New York came out on top this time, but when I get out to APOC at some point, I fight for the West. 
We kept it a little short, but hopefully still sweet this week. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and obey. I still got Borderlands on my brain. I think I want to go play Borderlands now. Yeah. Pew pew. Have fun. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think New York came out on top is what I heard, but, you know, I'm sure people will tell me in the comments, like, nah, nah, Jersey's better. That's for you, Dad. <laughs> and it... <clears throat> and so I'm not gonna use this take. I was also very rambly. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> it's the mag battery pack thing. It's over here. <clears throat> if I had numbers, that would be good. In such a, such a nature... Well, maybe I did have boss, so that's a lie. <clears throat> and we kept it a little short but sweet this week. This... <clears throat> Is there to talk about? I think that's it.